We do uh, meet the team Monday, every Monday. So we focus on a different member every Monday and introduce them to everyone in the group. Um, We have a talk about yourself Tuesday, which is new where we're inviting um, our members to chat about whatever they want to chat about in that one post. Um, we also do Welcome Wednesday for all of our new friends. Um, we have monthly challenges. The monthly challenges are really popular. <laughs> I think um, I have a lot of fun with the other admins creating them and the, the members seem to like them. So right now we're doing uh, free for all, but it's, <laughs> it's like free for all. Um, so you can do any 20 SAM classes you want this month and you will have completed the challenge. Then at the end of the challenge, we take everyone that completed it and do a random drawing between all of those people and um, send them a prize. It's more than just your output, more than a bike. When you hear your shout out, you know it's all right. Put on your magic pants and let's go. We're cruising into the power zone. Clip in, set yourself free. Come on and take a ride with me. You know what you need to know and what's it all about. Welcome to the Clip Out Podcast, episode 278. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hi. Hi. Welcome back from New York. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, it's been a couple of days, although it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been kind of go, 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 but that's, uh, yeah, that's how things are around here. Yeah, absolutely. So, but uh, man, did we have a great time. Gosh, we did. It did. Oh my God, it was yeah. so much fun. I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to um, go back to the Friends exhibit, and I would like to go back to the Peloton studio and spend all day. Well, you kind of did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> you were there for a good chunk of time on Friday, and then and then you were back on Sunday. I want to do it again, though. Uh, I understand. Okay. That's, but, uh, but no, that was fun. It was good to see everybody. And uh, you got to see... Uh, one of the new rowing instructors. I did. She literally was like popped out of one of the studios. Like we were in line to go into the tread studio and all of a sudden this door like flings open. Uh, I don't think they're used to using that studio while they have a line. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and then whoop, there she was. And I, it like took me a second to realize who it was. And then I didn't have my phone ready, which is unusual. And, uh, <laughs> and so, but, that is true. That's <laughs> but then she came back and I was like, oh, can I get a picture of you? And she was like, get a picture with me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, she's new, so the novelty hasn't worn off I yet. Know. Yeah, so <laughs> Ooh, the friends exhibit sneaked out there. It sure did, Monica. But, I know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, but yeah, you can also tell she's new because when you look at her Instagram, she doesn't have a blue check mark yet. yet. <laughs> Let's see how long that takes. Yes. and three. Two, yeah, one. it'll probably pop up <laughs> while we're discussing. This. Probably yeah. well. <laughs> so, and then uh, you got to do yoga class. So you got to see some uh, some some people there. I did. Yeah, I finally got to meet a Robin Rashburn in in person. Now I have been talking to her for seven years. That was wow. the first time we've gotten to meet. And then I also finally got to meet Jamie Stern in person. So that was so exciting. And uh, we took a class with uh, Mariana. Uh, it was supposed to be a Ross class, but he was out and it worked out for the best because um, I had I had not gotten to spend like one on one time with Mariana mm-hmm. and she could not have been more delightful. It was a English class and it was it was beginner yoga, which is totally my speed to do in the studio. Uh, I don't mind trying to be a little more uh, adventurous with poses when I'm at home, but in, <laughs> on camera and my butt in the air, I'd rather it be something I know uh, a little better when I'm in the studio. But wow, what a difference the studio is. It's so, so different now. The studio production, the whole team uh, and Mariana brought the whole team out. We got to meet everybody. It was really cool. That's cool. And then uh, you also got to run into Bex Gentry. Yeah, I was sitting there watching her take pictures. You only get to take pictures with the instructor right. now if you took the class. And so I didn't have a wristband for Bex. And uh, she saw me and, and she, she was kind enough she to was run like, over. Hello. <laughs> and I was like, can I please have a picture? And so she was nice enough to do yeah, that. Yeah, that was, that was very kind of her. <laughs> it but, was. But uh, and then because it was my birthday weekend, we got to go see the music man. Yes, we did. So, and it was so fun. And you snuck out your phone at the very, very end. 
end because everyone else had their phones out. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't technically the show, right? I mean, the show was over. But yeah, yeah. the show was over. But we had very good seats thanks to past guest Carrie Sokol. She helped us out tremendously. (laughs) Yes, she did. And uh, And so, I mean, I mean, for people watching on the YouTube channel, like this is you took this picture with your phone, right? From our seat. From our seats. Yeah. Like that's that's where we were. Yeah. Yeah. So (laughs) yeah. Thanks, Carrie, because those are amazing. Yeah. That's uh. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and the whole the whole team was was great. Of course, I was super excited to see Hugh Hugh Jackman, but Sutton Foster, wow, stole the show. No, she no really shade did. to Hugh Jackman. He no. was great, but like I like I was unfamiliar with her, and mm-hmm. so I was kind of like, who's this other person? And she was like a cross between Mary Tyler Moore and. And Carol Burnett Like yes. she was really And she like I, I love when When actors do this When she found laughs That weren't on the page Like she didn't undermine The character or ham it up But like the Her reactions to things uh, with, It with, was a look It yeah, was an eyebrow It was sure. a scowl It yeah. was just And it was it just it was it was just perfect. It yeah. really was. And honestly, Hugh did that too with like uh, sure. the little things that he would do whenever yeah. he would <laughs> break the fourth wall. Yeah. Uh, it was it was really really well done. Both of them just played it so well. It was such a good time. Yeah. Loved it. And then we also got to meet uh, a Peloton user. Yes, who, uh, Melissa Cowell. Yeah, and she works for the show doing costumes and stuff. She does, and uh, her like day job, if you will, is uh, she is a singer and. Song Songwriter, and we are hoping that we will get to have her on the show pretty soon. But what a pleasure it was to meet her! Yeah, uh, we always love meeting a fellow Peloton in- individual, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, yeah, it was uh, an absolute great time. We had a blast. It, so, yeah. Um, thanks for the big meetup on Friday, and oh, yeah, and I, uh, Gordon and Janet put that together, I got, and I got a birthday cake, which was delightful. <laughs> Your favorite birthday cake? Yes. <laughs> Angelo might not have been too happy about that birthday cake but i was very happy about the birthday cake i was i was very pleased with it the whole thing uh and so many people came out uh it was so so much love in the room like there were so many people hadn't seen each other in years uh and there were people that we met for the first time and it was there were people meeting each other for the first time it was just a magical magical weekend and if you just can't wait to hear more about our trip we did record a bonus episode where we go into much much more detail i believe you even get to hear about the time i thought someone grabbed my butt in times square i don't know that you did did tell tell that that story no i think that was your other podcast you told that story it all blurs together (laughs) so uh, we'll save that for another time then. Okay. But uh, but yeah we go into great detail So if you want to hear that We do talk about the rower We talk yes. about uh, meeting all the different instructors We also give lots of tips on how to navigate the new studio uh, So lots of really good detail yeah. over there And you can sign up for that at patreon.com Slash the clip out So um, also just a reminder that um, Sail Rock is just around the corner About two weeks away by the time you hear this And so if you live in the Midwest Or you don't mind coming to the Midwest For no real reason other than Yacht Rock We'd love to have you um, So you can get information on that In the clip out group Or if you sign up for the newsletter There's a link every week in the, the newsletter Which takes you right to the event And tells you how to get a, get a ticket to hang out with us We'll have a suite There'll be some food and beverage there October 15th, right? October 15th I And it's, it's a night of Yacht Rock classics You get Firefall, Orleans, The Babies, John Ford Coley, uh, Walter Egan, and Peter Beckett from Player. And they're just going to pound <laughs> through hits. Like, it's 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 a fun way to see a show. Like, Peter Beckett's probably going to play three songs and be done, and then you'll get the next guy. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm we, looking forward to it. It's going to be so fun. It'll be like a nice small group. So yeah. we're going to have lots of one-on-one time with people. For sure. Really looking forward to yeah. it. So uh, and then also we should say uh, just no Dr. Jen this week because we didn't have time <laughs> to record, but you got a lot of her last week. Yeah. So you got extra Dr. Jen yes, last so, week. But and she, she will be back next week. <laughs> yes. So besides that, what do you have in store for people this week? Well, we have our interview, of mm-hmm. course, and um, and we are also uh, we have so much news. There's so much news going on with Peloton. We got to talk about Dara. Dara. Um, we got to talk about Bertrand Lynn Kielt, however you say his name. Mm-hmm. We have uh, the new the new road to talk about we have the new features that dropped on the tread we have uh new guide programs uh the amazon prime early access sale 
We're going to talk about uh, United Healthcare expanding, the new rowing instructor telling people to go to hell in the best way possible. <laughs> yes. Where is Daniel McKenna? Why, what is going on? Exactly. Uh, and we'll find out where all the other instructors have been. We also have a visit from Angelo at MetPro. We're going to talk about shifting into maintenance mode after you have had a major weight loss. Uh, we will be talking about artist collaborations and we're going to do a little echelon mi- uh, mention in there. Uh, plenty of in case you missed it type of things awesome well before we get to that shameless plugs don't forget we're available on apple Podcasts, spotify google Podcasts, iheart tune in wherever you find a podcast you can find us while you're there be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode maybe leave us a review uh it just helps the people that come along after you we have got a new review this is from hf mckay Oh, okay. And it says a birthday review. (laughs) And they left it on my birthday. (laughs) Happy birthday, Tom. So glad you were born so you could make me laugh. I love this podcast, how you two interact and the info you share. Thanks, Tom and Crystal. The title might be misleading. I can't review your birthday. (laughs) I can. And it was wonderful. But uh, thank you very much for the kind review. That was such a sweet review. Yeah, And you can also uh, find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the clip out while you're there. Like the page, join the group. The group is a great way. So is the page, but the group going to push it into your feed a little bit more frequently a great way to stay up on things throughout the week so if there's breaking news things like that you don't have to wait for a new episode a lot of times we'll push it out there just to keep you on top of things it's a lot friendlier than the opp oh boy is it we'll kick out the douchebags yeah uh, we kicked he, out one this week yep yeah fat um, shamers got to go <laughs> yeah. so uh, um but uh, you can also, as I mentioned earlier, find our Patreon, which means you get ad free content and uh, potentially a- uh, bonus episodes if you sign up at that level. And if the episode's available early, we'll push it out to you first. And finally, don't forget we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the clip out, where you can watch all of these episodes. And Crystal will now wave at you. There you go. So that's all of that. Let's, uh, let's dig in, shall we? We shall. Peloton in the news. The house cleaning continues in the world of Peloton as uh, chief marketing and communication officer Dara Traceder. I guess we won't have to worry. We don't have to worry for saying it right anymore. I thought it was Uh, Dara. Dara. I was worried about the last name. I got it all screwed up. But uh, uh, but she is moving on. She is. She's going from uh, the VP uh, to a chief marketing officer over at Autodesk. Can't blame her for that jump. Yeah, for sure. From a VP to a CMO. Yeah. yeah. And it seems uh, it it seems like uh, that I'm not saying she got fired, but it sounds like maybe the word went out that just it that he that Barry wants his people in place. Do you think I I think not only did word go out, I think it was we're replacing you. Why don't you go find another job right. before we do? Yeah, um, that's what I mean by yeah, word went out like I, of just like, hey, like, you know, like this is going to come. So like, why don't you? And I think it was across the board. I think it's just sure. I, I don't think, think she was singled out. No, no, no. Yeah. I think I think all of the top level management this is going to happen with now i i don't know if it gets to the vp level or not but she was in a weird position because honestly i think she should have been a cmo i don't think she should have been a vp that's just my opinion because she was it was a weird like split where she was under kevin cornelius and cornelius however you say his name and uh i really think she should have had her own vertical and they didn't do that maybe that was part of why she left i don't know yeah but at any rate um Maybe she was told she'd get that at some point, and then with all the shuffling, it never happened, and she was just like, oh, okay. It could be. I, a lot of people are asking, like, oh, my gosh, should we be worried? I really don't think so. I think it's normal to see major management sure. turnover when you have a new chief executive yeah. officer come in. They want to have their own team. I mean, and you're even, seeing it at CNN right now, right? Y- yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, this happens everywhere. Yeah. This is not a Peloton-only thing. So, um, and, and for those of you who, who post things like uh, positions change every time I post something like this yeah I know yeah I, it's it's called news yeah <laughs> they, they make new classes and we talk about that too yeah but, uh, and you know a lot of people that are making comments about should we be worried not all of them but a good chunk of them seem to be the same people that have been complaining about what's been going on at Peloton so it's like isn't this what you wanted mm-hmm. right like if you're not happy with the results and they're bringing in new people then you should be glad yeah right right or do you just enjoy 
complaining. Well, there's some of those. <laughs> there are some of those. And I will say I've had a lot of people asking this question who are truly just like, I'm not sure. Like, right. please educate me. Yeah. And most people have had a really good attitude about it. I had a lot of good conversations about it. Um, and, and for the most part, that is the Peloton community, right? Right. So um, it's just we've got some some stinkers out there. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> while we're discussing uh, exits. Yeah. So this Bertrand Lancialt the third. He goes by Lance. I just I don't I know nothing about him. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to completely stereotype him okay. based on his name. Middle aged white guy. I think he's wearing an ascot. <laughs> That's just in my head wearing an ascot. Something from the Thurston Howell collection. I think that that is uh, I don't know if it's true, but don't I understand how you got there. But if it's not true, I don't want to know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> in our head, he's there. And 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 Bertrand or Lance, uh, he m- left Peloton. He was in the compliance department and he is now going to be working for Snap, which is the parent company of Snapchat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. he was the head of compliance at Peloton. I feel like once you got Peloton on your resume, you're going to land on your feet. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you'll be okay. Yep. I definitely agree with that. So uh, we alluded to this earlier in the episode, but you got an up close and personal look at at a rower. I sure did. We stopped by the uh, Peloton Manhattan West uh, store while we were in New York. Um, first of all, what a beautiful store. Everybody that we met at the store and at the studio, fantastic service. Yeah, for sure. Um, and this guy, Jordan. Jordan was amazing. If you need a salesperson, you go see Jordan. Uh, call any of your showrooms. They are happy to help you order this. Please order order from your salesperson on at a store you know we want to help the stores to the best of our ability we want them to stick around why do we need stores to stick around because of this yeah because you can go to the showroom and actually try out the rower that's why we want stores that's why stores are important and seeing this rower in person has made a huge difference to a lot of people we have had so many people reach out to us and say oh my gosh this video that you did now i'm going to order the rower yeah so be i I know not everybody can get to the actual store but this made a huge difference i feel like your post of this video sold at least 15 to 20 rowers that we know of yeah i agree i've had so 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 many people reach out um honestly i stopped counting because so many people reached out but um and i have to i have to give credit to jordan he did such a great job of explaining everything about the rower and really highlighting all of the really cool things about it and the really cool things about it that compare to let's say hydro are the the sound the Hydro is apparently, I've never used a hydro, just asterisk. 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 Yeah. Um, but I want to say that everybody that I have talked to says it's loud. Yeah. The Peloton row is silent. I don't mean quiet. It's, I mean, you would not know it was yeah. in use unless you see someone moving. <laughs> like, I've never really pay, been around a rower before. So, mm-hmm. like, I didn't. When people were talking about it being loud, the hydro, I was just the only one I'd ever seen in real life was the Peloton one, yeah. right? And so I was just like, oh, they make noise? Yeah, exactly, like- <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they do, and uh, the Peloton one does not. The other really big thing that stands out about the Peloton row is the form feedback, and I got to see it in real time because my form sucked, and it told me, like, parts of my form were great, and it told me that, and then other parts of my form, it was like, oh, you definitely need to work on this, and it, it explained what I needed to do. So it was really cool to see, um, and I think that's important because as Jordan points out in this video, that was his big concern. Rowing is such a technical sport. There's so much uh, like coordination happening that if you're not if your form is not correct you're not going to get as much out of it and right. so th- knowing that the the peloton row actually can tell what you're doing and what you need to to improve upon is amazing and and I have to add they also have this part where you calibrate, when you sit on the rower, it calibrates your body. So that's where it's getting that form feedback from. It knows how how much you're going to go back on your row. It knows how far forward you're going to go when you're done. So it's calibrating all that to give you the form feedback. And, ama- and, and in addition to all that, we have amazing classes that we're going to get. So that's super exciting. The class I took was really fun. Um, the only thing that I would say that I wasn't too sure about is just it's so 
different than a bike class or a running class. It's like, okay, go faster. It's harder to go faster on a rower than it is when you're running. Yeah. So that's going to take some getting used to. But but I really enjoyed it. The time flew by and I definitely felt it in my back. It was five minutes, y'all. <laughs> and my shoulders, like I was legit sore. <laughs> it was great. Uh, so I'm you were really sore. excited. I had to hold that camera for like 14 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> That was my workout. Yeah, calm down. <laughs> but I have heard so many people have told me, and I've read about this too, that rowing is really good for running. So I am super excited. I'm going to be training for Big Sur. I am really excited to be able to get this rower in December and uh, use it as a tool to further my my running adventures. I'm very excited. Yeah. And those of you who ordered day one, you're getting it in December. That, that date's starting to go out. By the way, Jordan said they have been swamped with people coming coming in to check this rower out uh, while we were there people were coming in like yeah. there there were people dropping in there it's it's insane at the stores all of the stores for sure and if you want to watch that video in its entirety because it's 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 like 13 14 minutes long and it and it is a full on demo and you can see it up close from multiple angles uh, you can find that on our Facebook page, on Crystal's Instagram account, or it might be easiest for you to find it on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the clip out. So if you want to go watch the whole thing and get the whole demo, it is out there waiting for you. And you're going to put it in like a link to it in the uh, newsletter, right? Yeah, the newsletter should have a, we'll have a link for it at the bottom where all the links are at. Cool. The tread is getting a whole host of new features. Yeah, this is really fun. Okay, so um, now instead of just work out, they have just with goals. So you can set the goal you want, like distance, and then you run on the tread or outside if you're using the just workout feature until you've accomplished that goal. Um, also on the tread, tread only, not tread plus, they added auto. Get used to hearing that. Uh, let's, <laughs> we'll get there in a second. Uh, auto incline has been added. So it's just like... Like the bike plus whenever the instructor calls out the incline it automatically goes to that of course that is only on on-demand classes not live <laughs> um, and then now they've added strava integration for the tread supposedly it only had a couple of stats that folded uh, that went over before and now it's going to have all of your stats i haven't actually checked the difference because i stopped using strava because it didn't show what i wanted it to show um but i'm gonna see if i'm gonna check check it out and make sure that it's like properly going from the tread over to my Strava account. Also, you have splits now. So you're going to be able to see your your mile or your kilometer splits in the class and for the entire workout post completion. And that is my favorite ad. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about that because whew, whenever you need to watch your paces, which is really important for endurance, you need your paces. And so having to constantly look at your watch when you're on a treadmill for a really, really, really long time is really, really, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very excited about this. But going back to the auto incline, yeah, they didn't add it to the Tread Plus. So I've had so many people ask me, so does this mean we're going to stop getting updates on the Tread Plus? I don't know. All of these updates got added and they still have not given us any indication what's going to happen with the Tread Plus for people who still have one. I go back to the original communication that we got. I have not gotten new communication that says anything different. It said you can return it for a full refund or we will make a fix for your home. They still have not done the fix for your home. Right. So I can't help but wonder if that's coming still down the road. At any rate, I believe it is becoming a collector's item for the moment. I will be hanging on to mine. I tried out a tread class while I was in New York. I used the smaller tread while I was there. It was beautiful and it was fine, but it was fine. <laughs> I love, love, love my tread plus. I cannot tell you how much I love those slats. Um, and whenever I click forward, whenever I want to increase my speed, when I want to increase my my uh, incline, it does it instantly. There is no delay. And the smaller treads, people have told me about this before, but mm -hmm. I experienced it myself. You get different amounts when you roll forward on the tread. Like sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't, uh, which isn't a huge huge deal um if i had to have the tread i would but like at this point it costs almost as much as i paid for the original right. tread plus so why would i do that i mean i'm going to have a treadmill so it's either going to be the tread plus 
or I'm going to buy a different one at this point. So I might as well hang on to this one until it dies. That's where I am. Not saying that's where you need to be, but that is where I am. Um, and uh, one other thing about the uh, the tread, people have been saying that they've been having uh, issues with uh, the incline, the the sound of the tread. I don't have any issues with that on mine, my tread plus. I've had zero issues with it. It has worked beautifully from day one. And I think if you have knees that can take it if it's a size issue thing for you you absolutely should have the tread there's nothing wrong with the tread it's just like if that's all i could have i'd be okay with it right but the fact is that i've used the tread plus and i love the slats and i definitely could tell a difference in my knees it wasn't awful it wasn't like running on concrete but i could definitely tell a difference in my knees after the class so uh for now i'm sticking with my tread plus and i'm going to enjoy it as long as i possibly can <laughs> live for the now <laughs> There is a new pump up the volume series for people who have guides. Yeah, it, it's really cool. Um, I was checking this out today. And uh, so Rebecca Kennedy and Just Sims are the teachers for it. And it uses the rep counting. By the way, I need to I need to update everyone. <laughs> uh, last week, I think it was, uh, I told everyone that I could not get the rep counting to work. So here's what I did. I went back to the guide and I did a manual update. I don't keep mine plugged in all the time because we keep it in our living room and the kids use it. So right. um, when I I did change it and I updated it. The rep counting worked perfectly. That was clearly the issue and I had no problems with it. Uh, and you can very easily switch weights in the middle of a set. You can just be like, hey, Peloton, increase my weights to 10 pounds. Boom, done. It was really cool. Very smooth, very sleek. Love, love, love the rep counting. But this particular program, what I love about it is it uses progressive overload. So for people who don't know what that means, it's just a fancy way to say that you slowly increase the uh, the number of reps and the weight that you are doing over a period of time, in this case, four weeks, so that you see actual strength gains. Uh, and, and so you're building your strength with this. And it is the kind of program I want to see. If you're going to give me strength training, this is the way to do it. Uh, the little tiny, you know, I did 10 reps of something and then I don't touch those that exercise again for weeks. That's that's not the way to do it. This doing the same workout over and over again for four weeks. That's what you do to see gains. So very excited to see this programming. I hope that there will be more. In fact, they said there's going to be new classes dropping every week. So there will be more. And I'm very excited about that. And while we're talking about the guide, we should talk about that there is apparently a beta test going on. Yeah, there's going to be a beta test between October 5th and January 5th, and they have several different activities that you need to do. Uh, you're going to be testing areas of the product according to the instructions. You have to do a weekly survey. You have to take specific classes and do a survey after every class. Um, and then you have to submit ideas, issues, and praise you have for the product. Um, and then if you have to also share voice and class data with the team by enabling it on the guide and not exactly sure what we're testing here i don't know if this is uh something to do with the rep counting because technically that is still in beta testing so maybe that's what this is or maybe it's a completely new thing we yeah. don't know yet uh so if anybody out there is uh testing and you feel like uh secretly letting me know about your nda you just go right on ahead and message me i will protect <laughs> your identity <laughs> <laughs> she's very good i am no one's been caught yet not yet so I guess Amazon Prime Day is around the corner and then there's early access to that. Yeah, so they're having the early access sale that's going to take place on October 11th and 12th. Their their like second Prime Day of the year was like a huge success. So right. I guess they're going to have now a third one. And um, the interesting thing about it is that they have they don't they're not going to tell you what's going to be included. Right. But they, they never are, do. They never do. Yeah. But they are saying that they they are letting out the the secret of some of the products that are going to be the manufacturers that are going to be included. Right. So Peloton is included. And that's why we're talking about this, because we are very, very curious about what of Peloton they are, they are going to include in. Will it just be clothes? Will it be clothes and equipment? Will it be new equipment? Will we see the rower make a debut over on Amazon? The questions are endless. So mark your calendars for October 11th and 12th. And uh, you might want to put a little extra cash aside just in case there's something you just got to have you know amazon prime day i love amazon i buy stuff there all the time as do you yes our front porch could tell you some stories yes 
but like prime day i've never seen one thing i've wanted on prime day it's always oh, like I, I always scroll through and it's always like oh look spatulas like I'm yeah, <laughs> i think it's like if you if there are things that you know you want and you kind of have them in your keep a watch on it yeah that's when it's the best to buy um but yeah i i agree you can get some amazing deals like i mean our air fryer i got a really good deal on the air fryer um i got a really good deal on some christmas presents that i bought for the kids too that they had on their list that it was on sale yeah. so like if you're watching you can get some good things but it it does take a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> Peloton has expanded their partnership with United Healthcare. They have. Yeah. So let's I can't remember how many people were included before. I know it was thousands, but now they're saying it's going to provide millions of people. Um, so if you'll scroll down, I'll explain how we're going to do that. Uh, they are, let's see, as many as 10 million healthcare commercial members may be eligible for a year long subscription or receive a three month waiver to an all access membership at no additional cost as part of their health benefits um and my understanding is this has to do with like those the way you can buy um health care through those if you don't have health care through, like through the marketplace the marketplace yeah. that's the word i was looking for yeah that's my understanding of this um because i don't i mean united healthcare only has so many people under it so that's that's the way i understand gotcha. it gotcha um, and they're going to get preferred pricing on some of the connected fitness products like the Peloton bike, the bike plus and the tread. No, you do not get a discount for the rower. Calm down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there are no discounts for the rower. As a matter of fact, uh, people keep asking, can you use your referral code? Can you use your referral code? No, no. no. And you can't use it for anything new that's always been the case that is not new so for those of you saying that it is it is not now i'm not saying in a couple weeks you won't be able to use it but right now you can for the initial rush no right because you'll just give yourself a hundred dollars off or whatever they know that yeah Yeah, absolutely yeah yeah they're on to you (laughs) peloton has something planned for latin heritage month yeah they're doing this talk and it's going to be i know that it's going to be hannah corbin Gosh, who was the other person? Oh, man, I'm totally forgetting. I feel like it's Mariana. I want to say that it's Mariana and Hannah. And on September 29th at 4 p.m. Eastern, they're going to have a 35 minute conversation. It's going to be in celebration of Latin and Hispanic Heritage Month. So very, very cool. I'm super excited about this. And I know a lot of people who are in the Pelotinos, they are very excited about it as well. Very cool. Instructors in the News. One of our newest Peloton instructors uh, for the rower, Ash Pryor, was taking some undeserved flack this week. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Yeah. um, It's really sad that she even had to say anything. Yeah. But I totally understand that she did. Um, I I don't know that I would have had the... What, the bravery to do it because once you speak up like you get attacked even more right totally. um but there there were people that were saying that she's fat and and it's really disgusting that people feel that they need to comment on her looks as if it is somehow their place yeah. to do so or she owes you a certain appearance yeah. yeah and she went on to say and she did not need to by the way that she's a size 12 and very healthy uh, and i would just like to say for um all the pig men because it's mostly <laughs> men um who think that they get a say in this uh size 12 is is quite normal like it, it, it quite normal um that is a very average size yeah so calm down and 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 i could go on and on about this but i i won't what i will say is that i think that she's amazing i think that she is a strong woman and i am guessing that most of the people that are opening their mouths their foul little dirty mouths (laughs) and saying things to her probably could not keep up with her on the rower if they had to she's a badass and they need to shut up (laughs) precisely Mm mm-hmm and if anybody else feels that way and you're in our group, you can just show yourself the door. <laughs> I, there is absolutely zero yeah. tolerance for that. I've already kicked one of them out. Yep. So the question we keep hearing over and over again. Yeah, we do. And justifiably so is where is Daniel McKenna? Yeah. And I'll just go ahead and say right now, I have no idea. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to drag it out. I don't want people to get mad at me. Uh, but here, here's the thing. It's really weird. Um, okay. So first I want to address 
did an Oliver like situation occur? Because that's that is the question we we keep getting. And for uh, for newer listeners, because it's been a few years it at has. this point. It's crazy. Um, uh, Oliver Lee was an instructor who was sending some inappropriate allegedly allegedly inappropriate unsolicited pictures to people i don't know that it's all that alleged because he was erased overnight like never seen anything like it like soviet russia it was like, like he never existed yeah like he was taken down off the page uh, all the pages there was like, no mention of him in any kind of, of peloton social media channel or yeah, platform IP. or yeah IP. it was all he, gone he was just scrubbed and 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 so, Peloton never spoke of it. Yeah, they never addressed it. And but to be clear, we do not think that that's what's occurring at all because mm-hmm. he is uh, still on their on their website. Yeah, he's still listed as an instructor. He's still listed there um, under Peloton instructor, saying that that he's doing things now. What we don't see, so he's still listed there under Tread. Yeah, Daniel McKenna. There he is. Ta-da. He also recently had a class that was posted on an outdoor run. Now, these are recorded ahead of time, so I have no idea when this was recorded, but it was posted on on September 16th. Now, Daniel stopped posting on social media on September 12th. That is the last time we've seen anything. If you go look under boot camps, strength, running, there are no classes coming up for Daniel in the next two weeks. However, um, I did, I was told that if you go to the studio classes, like if you go to studio.onepeloton.com to sign up for classes, you can find a class, a running class on October 8th, which is full, and a class on October 12th, also full. And uh, they both list Daniel. Now there's nothing after that either. Right. And there's nothing to say they won't swap it out. I mean, you were supposed to do yoga with Ross Rayburn and they swapped it out. Exactly. So I don't know what's going on, but I feel like it's personal. For those of you who are concerned that he is no longer an instructor and you will never see him again, um, I will say this. Peloton in the past has always given an instructor a chance to say goodbye, even when they left, um, even when it was something that wasn't exactly kosher, not Oliver level. Yeah. Like Oliver, that was different. That, that, yeah. He <laughs> but, was not given a chance. But, but other people that were asked to leave, um, they were still given an opportunity to say goodbye and nothing publicly was ever said like against those instructors. So yeah. so I don't think that's what's going on. To be clear, I, I, I kind of feel like maybe he's got something personal going on that's none of our business. And when it's time, he'll come back. And I don't know what it is. I just... I just know nobody's talking about it. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. I have dug deep. Everyone (laughs) I know, including the prophet, has dug deep. We got nothing. Nothing. Everybody's being very quiet, which means to me, very personal and very much none of our business. So I leave it at that. I, I wish Daniel well, and I hope he's doing okay. I hope nothing bad is happening in his life. And uh, and we just need to respect his privacy until we do know what's going on. At that time, he will share. Alex Toussaint was on the Pivot podcast. He sure was. And he he talks about his journey from military school, which took place in Missouri, by the way, uh, to being a world famous Peloton trainer. And people seem very excited about this. It's like an hour and a half. So you get a lot of Alex time. So definitely want to make sure you get a chance to check that out. Uh, We will have this in our weekly newsletter. I honestly did not watch it. It's way too long for me to spend time on. (laughs) (laughs) I cannot I cannot consume any more media than I already do. But uh, hearing very good things about it. So we talked in the past about how they were shooting Hocus Pocus 2 near where Maddie Majacomo lives. Yes. Apparently, uh, he grew up very close to the the shooting site. Like, it's in Rhode Island. That's his hometown. And uh, Maddie was asked to go to the actual Hocus Pocus 2 premiere. How lucky is yeah. he? How exciting. It looks like he had a blast. Uh, last night on Instagram, he was showing like close-ups of all of the flair that he wore, <laughs> his little spiders and such. And uh, very, very cool. Um, I think that he had a great time. And uh, if you wanted to hear all about this, Maddie was going to... Okay, so today is Wednesday. He was going to do a walk and talk class today where he was going to go over all of the details from the Hocus Pocus 2 class. So I highly recommend that you take it. I definitely will be taking it. Got to hear the latest from Maddie. By the time you hear this, it will have already occurred, but Jess Sims is going to be on 
Hoda and Jenna. She is, and she is very excited about it. So, um, and of course, Hoda and Jenna are too. They posted on their Instagram channel well, today. Hoda is a huge Peloton user. She's I know. talked about it numerous times. I know. Uh, and I believe, I'm almost positive, Jess Sims has been on the Today Show before. Uh, so I think she's making a return appearance. I could be wrong. There's been a lot of Peloton people that have been on the it's, Today Show. It's a lot to keep track of. At it this is, point. but yeah. I think that this is a return for her. But either way, very cool. She's having quite the year. Joining us once again via the magic of ZoomTube is Angelo from MetPro here to answer your fitness and nutrition questions. Hey, how's it going? Hi, (laughs) hello. Hey guys, good to see you. (laughs) You too. I'm very excited about this question because um, I, I know that this particular person crosses over from uh, real spoilers and the, the pop culture world into oh. the clip out world and now they are entering met pro so it's like okay. there's a lot happening okay. here. Holy cow. this is uh from sarah clark she has lost 90 pounds over the last nine wow. months and uh wow. she's only about a pound and a half from her goal her plan for the last few months of the year is to more or less maintain her weight but improve body composition by dropping some fat and gaining muscle she knows she needs to add strength workouts and increase her protein a bit but her question is what macro targets should she be shooting for and is there anything else that she should be considering as she shifts from losing to maintaining incredible okay yes awesome congrats sarah well done keep it up um and i i have some thoughts on on that question so unfortunately you can't nobody's going to be able to give you here's exactly how many calories you should be eating and here's your macronutrient breakdown that you should be doing unless we know what you are currently doing because that that's going to dictate if we were to say if you're currently eating 1500 calories a day then you're going to be safe going up to 1750 then 1900 then 2100 gradually over time uh if you're currently doing two thousand calories a day well then and you may be doing far less than that in which case all of those numbers would be too high to jump to at once so instead i want you to think of gradual increases and this is what our coaches do at metpro when we're up regulating someone's metabolism we're taking them from wherever they're at when we identify that either we're close to our goal our target weight or their metabolism is starting to bottom out because they're hitting that trigger where a adaptive thermogenesis is taking place and that's where your body starts acclimating and getting used to a lower food intake and so we want to push that rmr bmr numbers up and get your metabolism cooking again so the primary way we do that is by actually adding fuel the more fuel you add the faster your metabolism runs if you add too much at once you'll start gaining weight back so it's a fine line so you're going to want to do is you're going to want to increase and it sounds like you're thinking along the right lines sarah increase protein first that's why i would start for the first few days Um, and as you're tolerating that then slowly start increasing carbohydrates but the way i want you to do it is spread them out evenly throughout the day starting with breakfast or the first part of the day so um, if you were eating either very low carb um, or you were eating just a little bit throughout the day what i would do is i would go back to breakfast and say okay i'm going to add a little bit more carbs into breakfast do that for two three days you might pop up half a pound for a day or two and then drop right back down that's a very common experience we see clients go through then go ahead and bump it up again adding a little bit to lunch then same pattern for a few days then again adding a little bit to maybe an afternoon snack and then again to dinner and then pretty soon your body's going to be used to getting carbohydrates and that's increasing calories gradually over time you're definitely going to want to focus on resistance training now typically what i would do is i would take a client down about uh, two to four pounds lower than their target weight depending on the size of the individual So if somebody said to me, I want to weigh 150 pounds, it doesn't matter, whatever, 160 pounds, whatever you want to be, I'm going to diet you down to about 156 
because then what I'm going to do is as you're building muscle, I'm actually going to have you gain muscle weight up to your goal weight. That's an ideal circumstance. Now, you don't have to do it that way, Sarah. You have lost plenty of weight. You've done just fine. Keep in mind, muscle is denser than fat. So fat will take up about seven times the body space. So if you're putting on muscle and the scale is ticking up slightly, don't worry about it. You're going to look in the mirror. You're going to pull, you're going to put on your pants and your, your outfit and you're going to go, wow, everything's fitting good. Not bad <laughs> as you're ba adding muscle. So you're going to want to increase gradually, Sarah. You're going to want to add resistance training in. And I would do that uh, frequently versus intensely at first. Frequently versus intensely if you're not accustomed to it. So what I would love to see happen is you start with four or five days a week of just doing 10 to 15 minutes of resistance exercise that's light. Build the foundation then you can start adding intensity. And there's a lot of different ways you could do it. Of course, that's where coaches come in and they could help you get hyper-specific for your goals and your body type. But if you start with the basics, you know, you can do your crunches, you can do your push-ups, you can do body weight squats, core work. You're going to lay a foundation and you're going to allow your joints, your ligaments, your tendons to acclimate because the, that's the key component. So you're getting in shape. So you're fit enough to do the type of exercise that will really transform your body. You're on your way, Sarah. I think you're going to do great. Protein first, spread out carbs gradually across meals, add resistance training, start slow, frequency over intensity for the first few weeks, then ramp up gradually, and please share with us how you've done. And also, I should add, uh, when you're adding protein, you can add any kind of protein you want, but no Texas prairie chickens. You can't do that. Um, we got to save those. That's a joke just for Sarah. No one I expect. I expect nobody else to get that joke. I expect her to be laughing her butt off. So, uh, okay, fair enough. Perfect. So if she would like nutritional information tailored for her, not jokes, yes. of course, but that's got to go through me. Not but, jokes tailored for right. her, but nutrition but, uh, tailored. Where okay. can she find you and your wares? Come talk to us at metpro.co slash TCO. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Checking out the competition. We talked last week about how Hydro mm -hmm. had a whole bunch of ads planned to push their rower mm -hmm. with the release of of peloton row mm -hmm. and not to be outdone and and very on brand for them uh, echelon decided to copy something uh <laughs> and so yeah. they are offering people a free rowing machine uh-huh just come by the i can tell by that big old fan on the end yeah it ain't quiet yeah <laughs> just, they're just like come on by the dock and pick one up yeah. yeah i i don't i actually don't know what you have to do to get one god only knows um yeah. but but anyway uh they're also calling it the row yeah because of course they are because of course yeah. yeah but they've had one for a while they now, have. right yeah i just so. don't know if it was always called i the don't row know or yeah because we try to block them out yeah they're ridiculous yeah <laughs> but uh but so that is out there and i'm sure it's worth every penny um uh, yeah also <laughs> also if you uh want that tiny little tablet on there you have to buy that separately just saying gotcha yeah oh echelon you so crazy Peloton Artist Collaboration. The latest artist collaboration series thing stuff. <laughs> famous music guys <laughs> and gals features Kenny Chesney. I am really excited about this. Okay. You know, um, one of my favorite concerts I ever went to was to Kenny Chesney with your sister. Like we went to this concert. Yeah, uh, the I thought it was kind of meh. You weren't there. Oh, the other time. You, so we all went to Kenny Chesney. With, we did? Yeah, at Bush Stadium. 
Oh, and we yeah. were, the it, Bush Stadium one was not was as like, good. That wasn't yeah. as good. The one that was at the um, at the shed, the Riverport, shed, yeah, yeah, Riverport. That one was really, really good and a lot of fun. I mean, I thought we were going to get crushed in the crowd, but besides that, it was yeah. really, really good. So much fun. Um, but yeah, the one in the stadium, it was too big. Too big. Yeah, I just I was really surprised with the set list, and yeah. it was kind of short. It was. I mean, I don't remember who that country band was that came out, but they like totally stole the show. So Thomas Rhett was that Thomas Rhett Thomas that stole R- the show. Thomas Rhett stole the show. Show, and oh, then uh, before then it was Old Dominion. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Old Dominion really killed it. Part of the problem was at the stadium that the um, it, it didn't get dark. So like For, it was yeah. super bright and it was super hot. And like so they had these ginormous screens and you couldn't see Kenny Chesney at all because yeah. it was it wasn't dark. <laughs> so it was weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm still excited for it. I love a lot of his songs. I'm, I'm a huge country fan, like the old school country and his music kind of is on that bubble for yeah, me. Yeah, it kind of bridges that, yeah. It does. So there's going to be classes with Matt Wilpers and Hannah, Cor- uh, Hannah Corbin, and those are starting today, actually, Wednesday, September 28th. So by the time you hear this, it will be out. Make sure you check it out. In case you missed it. So Ashton Kutcher has uh, some more of his interview style classes on the tread yeah it's called uh our future selves and it's just going to be an ongoing thing for yeah. a while while he's doing his marathon journey mm-hmm. and raising money for thorn which right. is a very very cool nonprofit. so uh this week we have dennis morton you know a few weeks ago we had alex uh toussaint right. on the tread this week it's going to be dennis morton who only has done the bike he's never taught a tread class so if you want to see that this is a good opportunity to do so and uh kenny chesney so kenny chesney is kind of everywhere all over peloton this yeah. week makes sense that they're you know hitting all the different angles um i'm very excited about this one uh ashton actually has been uh he's been talking about all different kinds of things with his life like he's been telling stories as he does this and that's one of the things i really enjoy about it he's actually a very very good host um but one of the stories he tells is that kenny chesney was his wingman whenever he told his wife mila kunis uh that he loved her for the first time so that's kind of a fun story (laughs) and of course it's really cool to see uh dennis being on the tread and running so I'm this this whole thing. I've really enjoyed these. They're great for because I've been just doing like my own thing on the tread. Yeah. And these classes are perfect for that. It's basically just watching TV while I'm <laughs> but I'm still walking. I'm working out with other people. Right. So it feels great. No, it's smart because it's I mean, you know, so many people when they run have like listen to podcasts mm-hmm. and they don't necessarily want to give that up. So this is maybe a way to bridge that and get them to like, oh, well, this is kind of like a podcast. And then once they've kind of broken the seal like oh now i'll take a class so and i think this is really smart i agree there are a new series of classes called adaptive foundations yeah so logan aldridge teaches classes that are adaptive so it helps people who might have sitting like maybe they need to stand to do their workouts maybe they need to always sit to do their workouts but either way logan's got you covered Um, he's got eight different classes to introduce and educate proper technique and execution of foundational and functional movements so you and and show you how to safely adapt and modify regardless of your ability and your needs Um, so this is a great collection that's where you can find this is under the collections the adaptive foundation so make sure that you check those out we definitely want to support logan and all of our adaptive athletes out there Uh, i am super impressed with this man he is so cool such a nice person and an excellent instructor so please do not miss out on these We have some updates from the world of apparel. Oh, we do. I'm super excited about this new fall drop. uh, And it's another capsule collection. Uh, It's I love this blue of this bra. So it's it's Rebecca Kennedy has a new bra, a new tank, and uh, there's new leggings. There's a few other things that are, are happening here as well. But this is the highlight of this collection, this bra and this these leggings. They must be had. I had to purchase them. I mean, They're she even on bought their some, way. She even bought some for me. That's <laughs> how much she thinks they should be had. They need to be had. I, I love the color blue. This is my favorite color. And uh, Rebecca Kennedy makes it look good. So uh, we'll see if I like it as much on me. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're discussing apparel. Yes, uh, people have been waiting for this. It's our next instructor capsule collection dropping tomorrow, Thursday, 929. So by the time you hear this episode, it will have already been out. But it is the Kindle collection. And it is a collaboration with Spiritual Gangster, Peloton Apparel, 
and Kendall. Uh, so we know there's going to be lightning bolts involved. We know it's going to be the color teal, and we know it's going to be it's, the coolness of spiritual gangster. It's going to feature a heart shaped stigmata. <laughs> that is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what this is going to be. The last time there was a capsule collection that she did with uh, Spiritual Gangster, it had her like signature line on it about never knocked out. I I have a feeling that they've added to that or mm-hmm. done something a little bit different because Peloton does not like to do the same thing over and over again. Neither does Spiritual Gangster. Yeah. So I think it'll look a little bit different. But I'm excited to see what they come up with. And this is going to sell out fast. So hopefully you've already bought it because if you're hearing this on Friday, it's probably already gone. Last last capsule collection was gone in minutes. Do not hesitate on these. So there is a new German unity something or other. <laughs> it's a new series of classes okay. called uh, and they're celebrating German unity. Uh, so it's going to be unity classes and it's going to be uh, with all five of the German instructors. I said all five of the German instructors. Let me try that again. All 10 of the German instructors. And there are five classes. (laughs) (laughs) I knew there was a five in there somewhere. (laughs) So it's really cool. There's going to be a warm up ride. There's going to be a 30 minute unity ride with uh, several of the instructors and then another uh, unity run with the other and like all the run instructors. Um, And then there's going to be a 10 minute full body stretch and a unity meditation that's going to take place with Nico so lots and lots of classes and speaking of German instructors yes Charlotte Weidenbach is having her first English class this is so exciting October 29th so I know we have a little time but it is it's coming up it'll be here before you know it it's going to be well 3 30 p.m but I'm pretty sure that's a local time in London so uh I don't know what time it is here in the U.S. right but I'll be taking it because I love taking the English classes with the instructors that are, are they speak other languages because I want to make sure that I get to know all of them. So congrats to Charlotte. That is really cool. And finally, in the in case you missed it segment, uh, we should talk about Pedal the Cause. Yeah. So we were in New York this weekend. And one of the things that um, I wanted to make sure I did was was to celebrate Pedal the Cause because it was happening this weekend. Mm-hmm. And I wore my Pedal the Cause journey. Or it's actually I was it was my of my hope jersey that that's the team i'm on powered by hope powered by hope and so i had that on to celebrate pedal the cause and um what's cool about this is that all of the money that gets raised for cancer research stays right here in st louis at siteman cancer center um and so this year during the drive we have raised 3.4 3.4 million dollars so that's really cool we get to continue fundraising through october 31st which is great because i had a goal of 500 dollars and i have 300 so if anybody out there is uh interested in donating to a fantastic cause please do so we will make sure and post the link in the newsletter and on the facebook group and thank you so much to those of you who have donated. Yes. Jersey Joe, I'm looking at you. <laughs> the Cause! Joining us today via the magic of ZoomTube is Amber Vong. Hey, Amber, how's it Hi. going? Hey. Hey. So nice to have you here today. So, Amber, when did you originally like find Peloton and, and bring it into your life? Um, I purchased my Peloton in February of 2019 and it was delivered March 1st, 2019. Nice. So you were prior to the pandemic. That's kind of the new <laughs> That's the, the new, new benchmark exactly. for the cool kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a pandemic rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little smug. It was. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you can add Amber, not me. Yes. Uh, when, did, <laughs> when did you like what made you decide like, oh, I definitely need to get a Peloton? Had you you been working out before and something changed or you just wanted to try it oh uh, i was a runner a long time ago um and it's really hard on your knees and i was getting older and so i stopped and i didn't do anything for a while and that was not great for uh, me physically or mentally um and then i had a group of friends that all one by one started to get pelotons and so i i kind of succumbed to the peer pressure and ordered one <laughs> we do that yeah. we do that we're very effective we, you know that's yes. that's why people say we're a cult because and, we slowly draw everyone and peloton in. knows that that's why all your rides are so shareable and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want that that's true pressure. yes <laughs> so 
you went from uh, what kind of workouts prior to, so you had kind of stopped. So were you working out at all before you got the Peloton? Mm-hmm. It, was, it was very like, I remember my first ride, I was like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was going to be like riding a bike when I was a kid and this would be fun and easy. And it was definitely a wake up call. <laughs> so, so you were not like a love at first ride. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. God, honesty. no, I wasn't. But um, the friends that had convinced me that I should get one also convinced me that I should get on the bike at least once every day for 30 days to, to make it stick. Oh, you've and, got and good that friends. Was, yeah. you've that got was good really friends. good advice. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is because it's like so much of the routine. You know, we have Dr. Jen on all the time and she's a sports psychologist and she talks about that. At the beginning, when you first start working out, all of the benefits that you get from working out, like the endorphins and feeling good and feeling stronger, like you don't get any of that at first until you have a routine built and you start feeling good. So it's tough to work through that original feeling. And and then your butt's sore because like the, the bike is not very forgiving. So you've got that, you know. <laughs> that might be the biggest motivation not to quit because then you'd have to go through the acclimation to the seat all over again. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Like once you've got it acclimated, you've got your butt all toughened up. Nobody wants to go back and do it again. No. <laughs> that needs to be a Peloton Facebook group. <laughs> tough butts. Tough butts. Tough butts. <laughs> We're all tough butts. I think, I mean, the clip out is a great name for the podcast, but now I'm really rethinking. Now you like, want to have tough butts? Tough butts. I feel like that would be quite the logo. Yes. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> So, um, so how many times a week do you ride now? I like to ride every single day, but I, um, I work in healthcare research. And so you can imagine the last couple of years have been Why? very something, challenging. Something been going right. on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're we're just, in the Midwest. We don't, we don't have that here. <laughs> <laughs> what a magical place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure. That's one thing to call it. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. So what I, a stressful time. I just time. do the best I can. And like, I would like to be on every day, but it's, it's, a, it's just the best I can at this point. It's, at least a couple times a week because I don't want to lose my week streak. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> or once your you've tough kind of, butt. Yeah, exactly. Or my tough butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like once you've kind of like given up on the blue dots, like the everyday blue dots, it's like you can mentally let that go as long as you still have your weekly streak. But you got to at least throw in a meditation. You know, you got to get yes. the weekly streak. That's got to happen. <laughs> so, so like when you did your first ride, who did you do your first ride with? Mm, I don't remember, oh. just to be honest. No, you really did not enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not harboring a grudge. Yeah, she was just like focused this. on getting through yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I just I just get to the end. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you end up being part of the Yes Yo group? Oh, yeah. Um, so the same group of friends <laughs> that got me to buy a Peloton, um, we chat all the time. And so I had been talking to them about how I really thought that um, Peloton didn't have enough Asian representation because I knew, I guess it's Emma Lovewell that's half Asian. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was talking to them about how they that was something that I would really like to see. And it was maybe a month later when they announced that Sam was coming. And I was like, oh, this is so awesome. Like, yeah. I feel like I manifested this. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't and you do then, it sooner? I know, right? You got that kind of power. <laughs> I didn't know, right? <laughs> um, but... So I was chatting with him. And I was like, "Well, I need to know when he gets a with, when he gets a fan group so I can join." And they were like, "Why don't you just start one?" And I was like, "I can do. Okay, that. I'll just start one. Yeah, I'll just start one." <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> so I'm curious, like, um, it, why was that something that was important to you? Uh, my my husband is Asian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. <laughs> yeah. Like, I fi- I figured there must be a reason that that was important to you. There's yeah. no wrong answer. Just no. curious. <laughs> my husband is Asian. My daughters are half Asian. Sure. I was an Asian studies minor in college, and it's just something that I like and wanted to help promote. I felt like since we got the Asian instructor, I had been wishing for. I took it on as my personal mission to make sure that. <laughs> 
Hey, put lots your... of people rode with him so that we wouldn't lose him. <laughs> put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. No, nothing wrong with that. I was having the same thing because I was like, what? And then I'm like, well, maybe. She and then I've I'm a jerk for asking. I'm well like, I'm I'm nosy, so I'll just I'll just dig right in there. I ask the hard questions. You do. You do. <laughs> so so like what kind of activities does uh, the Yes Yo group have? We do a lot. We are a busy group and a, a, a big group too. Um I think we're over eleven thousand at this point, so we're really proud of that. Um we do uh, meet the team Monday, every Monday. So we focus on a different mo- member every Monday and introduce them to everyone in the group. Um, we have a talk about yourself Tuesday, which is new where we're inviting um, our members to chat about whatever they want to chat about in that one post. Um, we also do welcome Wednesday for all of our new friends. Um, we have monthly challenges. The monthly challenges are really popular. <laughs> I think Um I have a lot of fun with the other admins creating them and the the members seem to like them. So right now we're doing a free for all, but it's it's like free for all. Um, So you can do any 20 Sam classes you want this month and you will have completed the challenge. Then at the end of the challenge, we take everyone that completed it and do a random drawing between all of those people and um, send them a prize. Oh, fine. What's the prize? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it, at this point, it's a Yes Yo Challenge winner uh, special designed water bottle that you can't purchase. You have to win. <laughs> oh, okay. neat. That's nice. fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that stuff gets expensive with shipping. I don't, I, I gosh, man, that's a yeah, lot of we work. Just, we just shipped a bunch of buttons that was cost a lot more than we had anticipated yeah, when. so little. Who knew? Yeah. When we talked about <laughs> it know. off the top of our heads with no research. Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah, do I that. Can't get pricey we um we do have a red bubble store where we sell merch yeah and um we use anything that we make from there to help fund the challenge prizes unfortunately we are still way way in the hole <laughs> but, but it's fine it's fun and, yeah. and i enjoy it i enjoy it it's um, nice we, to have all the engagement with people too it is it's, it's really nice see we are doing a special with all the people that have completed every monthly challenge so oh. in january if they've completed the previous years, January through December, um, monthly challenges, they'll be called super yos. And uh, I'm going to get them something special. I haven't figured out what I'm doing a lot of research because I really want it to be something nice if they've done that many. Rides. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. But also, you know, money. So right. <laughs> sure. <That's- laughs> but I do want it to be something really nice because that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Oh, you you obviously care a lot about your group. That's really awesome. Thank you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it was so um, sincere. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sweet. Yeah. We also um, do Year of Yo, which is an ongoing um, uh, challenge where we're trying to see who can take all the whole catalog, the entire back catalog of Sam classes. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah, we had three or four people complete it last year. How many classes um, is that? I mean, I know it's ever at changing, this point, but right I'm as of this sure. moment in time, you know, <laughs> ballpark it was like six hundred and something. Okay. I think before Ooh. I clicked, you know, not taken this morning. Wow. Um, which Peloton, if you listen to this, please fix those check marks. <laughs> please, please fix those check marks. They're really messing us up. <laughs> I really, I really think that once the the rower stuff is done, it'll get fixed. I think they're just in the final stages of all that. So we're close. But, we're close. But we can't take credit for that if it happens. It's they listen, but they don't do anything. We oh god, no, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen to you, Amber. Yeah, they don't listen you to us. Better chance. <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're like Dennis. Uh, we give suggestions. You never <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> so does Sam get to interact with the group in any way? A little bit, yeah. He'll send videos sometimes. And I met him when I went to London last month. No, it's September now, and <laughs> two months ago. <laughs> uh, and he, you know, asked about the group and. Um, let me know that if if the group needed anything to let him know so that was really nice he seems like such a genuinely nice person yes that is exactly the word that i would use to describe him as genuine he was exactly the way you would think he was from taking his classes which i guess that's why you're so sincere right it's 
flocks together. You know, I think that's true. I really do. Like, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and I've talked to a lot of people from a lot of different groups. And I really think that the energy from the instructor kind of like flows down through the group. It's not always 100%, but like the energy genuinely generally that comes from the instructor tends to be within the group and it's really cool it's neat to see how that brings people together and you know i mean how long has sam been part of peloton like a year and a half something like that november 2019 it's so wow has it been that long are you serious she knew instantly i know i i get you i get it how has it been that long though holy cow wow Wow, time flies. I swear, since this pandemic happened, I don't know what year it is anymore. I'm still saying 2020, and it's not <laughs> yeah. at all. Because you feel, like the what world, year is it? <laughs> you feel like the universe owes you two years. I think so. Right? I do. It's like we should all get an extra two years of life. It's like we all just hit it. pause, and it was really weird. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, uh, God, two, she's been 2019. Wow. So can anybody join the group or is it like just people uh, like I'm assuming obviously you got to like Sam and that's obviously a helpful, criteria, you know, think. but is there any <laughs> doesn't other criteria? Everybody, doesn't everybody <laughs> like Sam? <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody out there that doesn't because you don't get to be that big and somebody doesn't like you. Yes. Like it's impossible. I mean, I'm True. not saying they're right to feel that way. I'm just saying. They're not. They're wrong. They're absolutely wrong. <laughs> I always tell Crystal, you're not popular <laughs> until people don't like you. <laughs> um. But yes, anyone can join the group. We do have um, questions that are we we require them to be answered before you join the group. Um, if you don't have a username, uh, you don't have a leaderboard name. If you don't have those kinds of things, um, one of our admins does reach out to every single person who asks to join, and she just verifies that you're a real person. So if yeah. you're a Sam fan that doesn't have a leaderboard name, you're still welcome. Um, you just have to respond to the message and let us know that you're not a bot. Yeah. yeah, or and if you misspell Peloton, yeah, that's or always, Yo, there's yeah. really no excuse for that one. <laughs> uh, in our uh, Midwest group that we have, uh, we always have questions about like, what's your favorite instructor? And people just put like weird names in there, like Jamie. We're like, who? Who the hell is Jamie? Yeah. So hey, we finally had to change it. They're like, okay, who's your favorite Peloton? Instructor? Yeah. Like, why like, are you even here? Just go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what about like other classes? Are you a bike only kind of girl or do you take other classes? How does that work for you? Mostly bike, yes. Um, I sometimes will do tread classes outside because I don't have a tread. I mm-hmm. would love to have one, but I don't. Um, but I, I do still enjoy running. I just don't do it as much because I'm old. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. I oh, really, I'm going to use that as an excuse. Is that is that your excuse I'm for not old. running? You're, that's I, why you yeah. don't run. I also didn't run when I was young in I case, like, in case mm-hmm. I got old. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Well, I really like having the Tread Plus and those slats because it makes a world of difference, which is why at this moment I'm not giving mine up. You're not giving it up. Not. November can't get here soon enough, so you can stop playing this game of like, <laughs> well, am I giving still get it up? A pro, you still get a prorated you know, refund time. So I don't know that it'll ever end, but oh my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> it makes a huge difference though. Um, so if you have to take a class with somebody that's not Sam, who do you go to? Cody. Cody. <laughs> you know, it's so quickly. <laughs> she does. Oh my God. She is a decision maker. I know. Like there she is, is no waffling. There is no hesitation. It's so funny. Like sometimes You're, we interview people and they're yeah. like, Oh, it's so hard. I love them all. No. Amber's like, no, I love I love Sam and Cody. You are that rare woman that if the husband <laughs> says, Where do you want to go to dinner? You're like McGurks. <laughs> <laughs> and he could be like, Honey, there isn't a McGurks. You're like, I'm going to trademark the name and start one. <laughs> Make reservations for 630. She gets shit done. Yes. <laughs> I have opinions. That's good. Good. I like opinions. I like somebody who knows what they want. Now, is there anybody else that makes the cut besides Cody? I really like Jess King, too. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So How now does- you sound a little sheepish. Yeah. Like you're embarrassed. To- just your guilty no, no, pleasure. No, okay. <laughs> um, Where does just- Alex Alex fall on your list? I feel like if you like Al, if you like Jess and you like Cody, I feel like Alex Toussaint is right up in there. That's like yes. always one of the people. Okay. Definitely. Okay. She's really good at this. 
She's, this is like horoscopes, <laughs> except it's not bullshit. Yeah, and I just I want to clarify that maybe I sounded sheepish with that because I just don't take them that often. Oh, like I'm sorry. I, I wasn't trying to make you feel. I bad. almost <laughs> always take Sam, so I feel bad calling out the other people I like because I so rarely get to take their classes. Oh, you shouldn't feel bad. No, you shouldn't feel. It's not like Sam's over there like pulling up your profile like. Well, Who Sam might be because, with? because they interact and she's an enemy. Sam might be, but the other ones. I mean, I, well, not. okay, fine. Just King is not pulling your profile up and saying, how many classes did Amber take with me this month? Like, that's not happening. So don't feel yeah. sheepish. Yeah. You take classes with who you take classes with. You have nothing to apologize for. Um, and then, so, okay, so you're not taking any strength classes. You're very pure. Like, you bike maybe a few outside <laughs> tread classes. I really need to take some strength classes. I'm a strict failure. You know, some people are like no. cardio and yeah. some people are weightlifting. Yeah. And I've always been a cardio person and I know I need to lift weights and I hate every minute. You of know, it. I, I, I am a Met Pro coach now and I talk to runners all day long and I'm always like, you got to do the strength. You got to do the strength. You got to do the strength. But I know, I know it's not your favorite because you love the cardio. You love the endorphins. You don't get the endorphins the same way from the, the lifting. I get it. I get it. It's a snooze fest. <laughs> But I will say, I will say, just to throw it in there, makes you live longer to do the strength. Just putting it out there. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So you said no strength, but sometime you're going to do that. One day. One day. <laughs> One day. I don't, I'd say I'm the other, cardio is the worst. Yeah. So do you, see, Tom, I don't, he says he doesn't get any endorphins from the cardio. He's like broken. Like he doesn't yeah. get endorphins. Are you dead? I think so. <laughs> Are I do. You okay? I, I, I am dead on the inside. I get nothing from any of it. Because Dr. Jen keeps talking, well, when you've been doing it for a while, and I'm like, it's been two years. Like, where is like, this going to happen? Like five to six times a week I work out. And I'm like, it's still like, this is the worst. He still sits down here in the basement and like yells at the machine. Like, not all the time. Just when it does stuff it's not supposed to do. Or like, when you're correct in a, me. Or when you're in a bad mood. Well, that puts me in a bad mood. So it's a <laughs> chicken or the egg. So, yeah, I don't know. His endorphins don't work. I don't know what yeah. to say. I'm really sorry about that. Me too. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I know. Like, I really do get jealous when I hear people like you talk about, like, oh, and the and it's so fun. And I'm like, I wish it was fun. Like, it's nothing about it. It's it's all work to me. But luckily, I've been doing it long enough now where I I do see tangible results. So it's it's easier. It's much easier now to to force myself down there to do it because I I, I do feel like I can see what's happening. You know. So, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, but at the beginning, no. I'm I'm curious though for anybody who's who who's out there just now joining Peloton. Do you have any advice for them? Take a same class. I knew it. <laughs> I knew that was going to be your answer. <laughs> <laughs> take a take a same class, take several. Okay. I, I do really still like that advice that I was given about get on every day for 30 days just to acclimate yourself and to get in a habit and to, to get to the point where most people get their endorphins. Sorry, you don't, Tom. <laughs> it's okay. I you know <laughs> I, I'm the exception to the rule and people don't have to adjust their their <laughs> speeches for me. Like mm -hmm. I get that I'm the weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely take a same class, join a challenge, give yourself a reason to get on every day like you, it, it's account it's a lot of it is accountability i think for the members of the group is that you know we, we're there for each other and we know that hey where are you on the challenge are you going to mark yourself complete <laughs> like, <laughs> well and you don't like it, when people here get on the bike every day or or whatever equipment you have it's not like you have to do like a 45 minute class every day you know you could do a 10 or 15 minute class when you're first starting off because you're just trying to start a routine and just like get in the habit so if you're just trying to get the habit going it doesn't have to be a super long class and you're still getting a tough butt that 10 minutes is still going to help with the tough butt. <laughs> yes, yes, it will. And the more you get into it, the more you can like buy yourself merch and stuff. Like, I love all the Peloton branded mess because it just I like to buy myself a present. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be able to treat yourself. Um, you know, it's like it's now I know it's different now than it used to be because they used to have so many more options. But now they have like drops all the time. Um, but uh, with the capsule collection coming, I bet that if they have a Sam capsule, you're going to be on it. You're going to be like Definitely the first person that has bought the things. I don't know if you remember when the uh, Asian 
a heritage collection came out this but, this like, year or the year before the year before yeah um they had sam modeling some of it yeah. and there was a black hoodie that he modeled and like everybody in the group bought it i have that it. hoodie i've never even worn that hoodie and i have that hoodie it's so comfortable you should get it i do have it i just have not <laughs> worn it you should wear it well, you wear it i have a lot of hoodies it's tom's fault is that i have <laughs> hoodies. I, yes it's i'm the one that's like you should buy more peloton stuff but you do have a lot of hoodies and i never yeah. had hoodies till i met you so i blame you for the hoodies <laughs> and now i have a whole closet of hoodies and not oh. all of them have been worn. But while we're talking about merchandise, yes. Yes. Um, we do have an Instagram account Ooh. that um, one of our members, Julie, runs. And she's a graphic designer and she's amazing. Yeah. And she created a um, concert poster design based on Sam's recent Muse ride. Mm -hmm. um, and we're about to drop that in the Ooh. store. Um, and what's I'm really the, excited about what's that. What's the Instagram uh, handle? It is yesyo dot four dot samyo. Oh, awesome. that's a good that's a good get. So when people hear this, they can just hop on out there and get themselves some some Sam merch. And so is it all the is it just like listing all the songs that he put in the the Sam in the Muse class? <laughs> it's Sam like class. a legit concert poster. Yeah. Like I. I I think I probably am going to buy it and replace my homecoming 2019 poster that I have hanging over my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's hanging over your bed? Bike. So it's bike. bike. Okay. It's in my little bike corner. Okay. Shoo. I was like, well, I can see why your husband's not supporting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I took down our wedding photos. <laughs> like, Do you want this picture of us on our first date? You just... <laughs> Hanging up somewhere. That's a you. Looks like a you thing. I, you know, here the marketing guy. I mean, here's a good prize. Uh oh. Be a little cheaper than your water bottles, but people would like send some to Sam, have them sign them. Oh. And send them back to you. <gasps> That's amazing. And then that can be your prize for a while. You get you twelve even, of those. That'll last you a year. You could even print <laughs> them over in London and have him like get them in London yeah. locally and then mail them, so you don't have to mail them twice. I like that. I, I yeah. like how you think. Mm -hmm. I like how you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marketing guy. He's and it was concert related. So like instantly my head started like, oh, I know what to do. Here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be really fun. So now, are there any other groups that you belong to uh, on Facebook? Or are you just like Sam only group? Yes, yo. I'm in a lot of them, but to be honest with you, I've unfollowed everything on Facebook except our group because... <laughs> I just don't love Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> we hear that more and more. There's every a lot day. of negativity on or Facebook. Or people that are on there only because it gives them access to one or two specific things. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, because there are so many things that you almost have to have Facebook to interact with anymore. And so they're like, I have it for that. And then it That's can go it. F itself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I have to have to interact with the PTO only on Facebook. <laughs> Isn't that annoying? My, oh. my kids uh, horseback riding lessons, like part of the um, part of the form is when you fill it out to sign up is like, do you have Facebook? Because that's the only way we'll communicate with you. I was like, Whoa. really? That's, Seriously? That's a bold stance. <laughs> that that's the only stance. way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. I wouldn't do well with that group. <laughs> uh, okay. Tom. So is. what? Uh, what is your leaderboard name? Uh, Amber Vo. Oh, okay. That's I would I normally ask. Wait, how, you know, <laughs> how'd you come up with? How'd that? you come up with it? But <laughs> right. Technically, it sounds like you didn't. It no. Sounds like your your parents came up. with it. Did your parents know when they named you that you'd be getting a Peloton? This <laughs> so, how can people find you on social media if they want to talk to you? Uh, well, on Facebook, I'm Amber Michelle. Um, I don't, I don't know if anybody wants my Instagram. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not anything Peloton related. It's and it's my dog because I am an introvert. And so I only Instagram as my dog. OK. okay. <laughs> what type of dog? Does your dog have a lot of followers? Yeah. Not a lot, but he has more than I would. <laughs> 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 and what type He's of dog a, is it? It's a pug. He's a pug. Aww. Gotcha. Is he yeah. sassy? A little. A yeah. little. He's kind of a jerk. We call him a jerk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do that makes him a jerk? He only loves my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but presumably you love your husband, so ergo, are you a jerk? Oh, no. Um, but I also love my kids. <laughs> so the dog doesn't even love the kids? 
I really wish he did. Oh. <laughs> Your dog is a jerk. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We, had a a, we had a dog that was we had a dog that was a jerk. Marshall could be a jerk. <laughs> Marshall could be a jerk. Yeah. Like he would look right at you and just like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about it. Or anything. like the way our furniture was situated, the couch was kind of like against the 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 wall as you walked into the room so it could be kind of a tight fit and uh and he would love to just sit right in that gap and mm-hmm. then you'd walk up to him and he'd look at you like what what am i supposed to move You're like, come on move and he's just like i'm really comfortable here Who, me yeah i don't know i don't think i'll be moving today you should walk around the other direction through the, ga- <laughs> through the game room <laughs> you'll be fine yeah, we always tell oscar it's a good thing he's cute yeah. he's really cute he's very cute <laughs> Thank goodness for Oscar. Well, I mean, he's obviously Instagrammable. We we have a we have a listener that has a dog. Um, his Instagram account is like Coconut Rice Bear, and his like his dog has like a million followers or something crazy like that. Oh, it's wow. just like insane, and he's always doing really funny stuff with his dog. It cracks me up. <laughs> and it's very floofy. <laughs> oh my word! This, I and you should hear all the cute animal. Okay. words she makes up i really love animals i can't help it when i see a cute animal i get a little crazy and tom she's never like, misses an opportunity to tease me about she's it she's like that girl from the animaniacs cartoons i don't even know mm-hmm. what you're talking about where she was like, I, know. So I know exactly who you're talking about until <laughs> they're trying to escape well, they're cute. That is her. <laughs> <laughs> i definitely understand <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, Amber, thank you so much for joining us. Before we let you go, remind everybody where they can find your the Samyo group so they can they can go go do that. They can join. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, we're on Facebook. We are uh, Yes Yo for Samyo on Facebook. <laughs> awesome. and, and tell us the Instagram account one more time. Yes, Instagram one more time. Yes Yo dot four dot Samyo. Wonderful. Awesome. They can go there and find that cool poster. Yeah. It's really nice. Julie's amazing. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. The clip out. So I guess that brings this episode to a close. Until next week, where can people find you? People can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash crystal D. O'Keefe. They can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and the Peloton leaderboard. At Clip Out Crystal. And you can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. Find the show online at Facebook.com slash The Clip Out. While you're there, like the page, join the group. Don't forget, we've got a YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash The Clip Out, where you can watch these episodes. You can see Crystal's rower video in its entirety, um, all sorts of things like that. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep pedaling and running and get ready to row. <laughs> Set yourself free